Uh, good evening, good morning uh, to everybody who's on today. It's so great to have so many people on the on the webinar this this evening. Um, I'd just like to welcome everyone uh, to the first webinar for 2018 for the Wealthy Coin. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to ensure that everyone was comfortable with GoToWebinar. There are a couple of people who are here for the first time. I uh, just wanted to make sure that everyone was comfortable. Just a reminder, we really enjoy interactive webinars. So I ask that everybody please ask questions and participate in the polls that we're going to be running. Uh, if you would like to know how to ask questions in the control panel for GoToWebinar, you will see uh, a tab for asking questions. And if you're on your phone, then you uh, can just swipe right or left uh, to find questions. So to make sure everybody is listening, uh, if everybody could just type in what city they are listening in from. We have uh, registrants from 21 different countries, so it would be it would be quite interesting to see exactly where everybody is coming in from tonight. So tonight um, we have the token sale team. You can see everyone's beautiful faces, and the aim of tonight's webinar is to give you an overview. Um, and to let you know what can be expected in the coming weeks. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to quickly introduce everybody who's who's online, and then we'll get going. So first up, we have Scott Mize. Uh, Scott's of course from Network Society Labs. A lot of people have seen or heard of Scott, and he's been on a few webinars. Of course, uh, Scott's been uh, in the information technology sort of sector for about 30 years. I wanted to say veteran, Scott, but I didn't, I didn't know if that might uh, be, be a bad word. Um, but yeah, Scott's interest was sort of nanotech and clean tech and the internet and of course blockchain. Um, and then we've got Randy Boyer, who's also from NSL. Um, and really, Randy makes sure everything gets done in terms of the token sale. He also has got 30 years experience in tech. And Randy's coming in from Sydney tonight, so or this morning. So for him, it's very early in the morning. Um, then next we got Nick Pruton. Is that is that pronounced right, Nick? Who's uh, from it's Pruton, but that's pretty close. Okay, my bad. From Stop. Blockable. <laughs> so you'll see Nick's name if you're on the Telegram group. Uh, Nick is Nick is part of the community building, um, and he's in Vancouver at the moment. Is that right, Nick? Yeah, I'm actually in a great little town uh, just outside of Vancouver called Kelowna. Um, wine country, essentially, 150 wineries in the area. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, that sounds great. And then, of course, we've got Scott. Um, Scott's the CEO of Wealth Migrate. Scott is the visionary that's brought us all together, the reason we have Wealth Migrates and the Wealthy Coin. So what Scott's going to be doing is giving a background uh, of Wealth Migrate and the Wealthy Coin. So, Scott, over to you. Cool. Thanks so much, Kevin. <clears throat> well, let's... Uh... I'm coming live from an idyllic Neisner, so it's uh, wonderful to be online with people from all over the world. And so from my perspective, I'm going to share, I see there's a lot of um, old faces in the room. Um, however, I would like to just share a sort of a, a quick overview of who Wealth Migrate is, what's the history. You know, they always say if you understand the why, then you can really get into the what and the how. So, Kevin, just tell me uh, quickly, because I'm a little bit confused on my screen. I am no longer seeing the screen I had, which was the PowerPoint. What are, what are you guys seeing there? So Scott, we can see about four PowerPoints all on top of each other. Now we can see a PowerPoint that says the FinTech solution for global real estate investor. Cool. I don't know why it suddenly disappeared on me. Anyway, let's rock and roll. Where did this all begin? Well, you know, at a very young age, I, uh, I grew up and my, my father was one of those people that uh, Worked hard and went to school, went to university, became a chartered accountant. And um, then, he, then he basically went on ultimately to be financial director of Rainbow Chickens, which is a listed company. And unfortunately, on the 1st of August 2005, I got a telephone call. I was working in London. I got a telephone call from my mother to tell me my father had passed away. And I actually went home and up next to his bed, I found a bank ticket where he was trying to draw 50 rand which is equivalent to about five dollars and he'd been denied by the bank and the reason being is that he had done everything that you're supposed to do in terms of investing and paying your taxes and retiring etc 
but he had trusted his money to the financial system and uh, he had unfortunately died bankrupt. And this really is a picture of me and my dad. It's my very first real estate project that I did. I was 13 years old when I actually uh, converted our, our uh, made, effectively made a double bedroom, ensuite double bedroom. And I think it's really important because at a very young age, there was a real passion for real estate and technology and pretty much spent my whole life trying to marry the two together. The second thing is, is that as a young boy, you know, for me, this was a game that I absolutely loved in terms of Monopoly. And the, the question we asked ourselves, well, why can't we play global Monopoly? Why can't we make it easy? Why can't we make a game like this uh, that's intuitive and rather than just be a game, turn it into a reality? And the third thing is, is that growing up in Africa, there's a really stark contrast of the haves and the have nots. You know, the wealth gap continues to get worse around the world. And we started to do the research to say, well, why is this and how do we solve it? And there was some amazing research out there. You know, when you look at it, 49% of the world's wealth is held in real estate, and yet only 12.9% of the world's population actually has access to that real estate. And what's amazing is that of that 12.9%, Less than 1% of people, pretty much every single person on this webinar, including myself statistically, is going to retire uh, poor, you know, according to statistics in England, Australia, and America by the age of 65. Only 1% of people will retire wealthy. And what's the, what's the opposite of wealthy? Well, effectively, it's poor in my mind. And, um, and so we then said to ourselves, well, why is that? And the fact is, is that the 1% are doing something different. They're investing in something different. They've got different knowledge, different access to opportunities than the 99%. And we decided to use technology to empower the 99% to be able to invest like the top 1%. We want to make real estate investing, global real estate investing, as easy as a simple as a swipe of a finger. And we ultimately want to get it down to $1. And, you know, people say, why $1? Is it really going to change? you know, and have an impact on people's lives? And the answer is no. You know, one dollar is not going to change someone's life. But when you change their habits, you will change their financial destiny. And so, you know, from humble beginnings, this was my very first property that I bought in London uh, back in 2002. I was 24 years old. And um, from there, I really embarked on a career of assembling and turning that monopoly into a, a, into a real life game around the world. And what was interesting is that in 2009, I, sorry, in 2004, I started a company called IPS to help people around the world invest in England, Australia, America, and South Africa. But it was all really in houses and apartments because that's all I knew. And in 2009, I met Henny Besaidenode and Peter Fenstra, both who are billionaires. And what was really interesting to me is that we were right in the middle of the last crash and they were buying medical centers. I met them in Bondi Beach in Sydney, Australia. And it was actually this medical center that we were looking at. And I remember asking Henny, why medical? And he said, well, think about it, Scott. No matter what happens in the world, people will always need doctors. Okay. Secondly, doctors never move. And I thought back to when I was a child, and I thought, well, that's actually true. Like, you know, I'm 40 years old now, and the doctor, that, the premises that I used to go to when I was a kid, you know, the doctors passed on, but the premises are still medical premises. And the third thing is doctors are very good at being doctors but they're not accountants. And so they sign good long-term favorable leases. And I thought to myself, with, with all the experience I've gotten, having helped over two and a half thousand clients invest, why have I never been taught this? It is so simple. And I said, well, how do I participate? And they said, it's easy. Um, you know, it's just for friends and family. And the minimum investment is 5 million Australian dollars. I was like, ah, there's the problem. And um, unfortunately, Henny and Peter and six other friends I put together $40 million, and today that's a listed company on the Australian Stock Exchange worth over $700 million. Now, that is what we call financial exclusion. It really sums up the real estate industry, which is broken. You know, you've got an investor, and they're trying to make an investment. I'm actually being kind here because there's 16 different middlemen between the investor and the investment. It's laden with fees. There's no trust. There's no transparency. And because of these high fees, there's no alignment. We decided to do it different. We decided to help investors anywhere in the world get access to the best real estate partners in the, in the best countries with the best opportunities. And they can ultimately list the property and do the investments all online. 
we decided to answer the question, how do we make global real estate investing easy? And, you know, most people, when they think of global real estate investing or even local real estate investing, they think about hassles, management, maintenance, broken toilets. And that's just, you know, really when you think local, if you think global and international, you start thinking about tax, compliance, structuring. And really what we wanted to do is allow people to invest through their mobile phone, through their tablet, on their computer in a matter of minutes. They can focus on the best partners with the best opportunities and from as little as a, we literally are beta testing it at $100. And therefore, people can literally just focus on the best returns. Whether they want to invest, you know, it's, it's, there's four simple steps. They literally go and they sign up compliantly in whatever country they're in. They get to choose whichever investment suits them. We're not a financial advisor. We do not give financial advice. Um, we give people the tools and the information to make the right decisions for themselves. They can then transact online and then they can manage their global portfolio in one place. So whether they want to invest in America, England, Australia, or South Africa, they no longer need to choose. Now, it's fairly common sense that technology is going to change the real estate space. And there are platforms all over the world. In fact, we're aware of about 250 real estate platforms, crowdfunding platforms that are in the real estate space. But every single one of them is in country helping the citizens of that country. You know, I don't know about the rest of you, but when I caught Uber or Airbnb, I don't like using a different app in every single country I go to. It just adds complexity and hassle to my life. And yet I want to be a global investor with global diversity in a safe and simple way. And so we decided to build a platform that allowed people to be able to do that. And we're the only platform globally that is in multiple jurisdictions across five continents. Our secret source is a system called GIDS. It's our global investment due diligence system. I'm not going to bore you with all the, the nuances of it. In fact, you know, we've, we've really got a lot of detail in this. But in simple terms, what GIDS does is it helps you know where to invest, when to invest, what to invest in, who to invest with, and most importantly, how to invest. You know, for us, it was all built on the blockchain. Now, a lot of people have heard about these ICOs. A lot of people have heard about Bitcoin. Everyone gets really excited. We did not build on the blockchain. We were the first global real estate marketplace to build on the blockchain. And we did it for two reasons. The first reason is that our biggest barrier to entry is trust. And blockchain forms the foundation for trust in the social commerce, you know, where we're going the next 20 years. It literally is the most important thing for trust in the next 20 years. And the second reason is that in the current economic, with the current economic vehicles like banks and lawyers and PayPal and money markets and money movements, there are just too many friction costs to allow us to get it down to $1 and solve the greatest challenge on the planet. So we bought blockchain in for two reasons. The one was trust and the one was to drop the friction costs and allow us to get to our vision and our mission. And then really what was interesting for us is that as we were building this, this global marketplace, we realized it was time that we needed to get the best in the world to help us execute from a strategic perspective. So Justin Clark, you know, has been building marketplaces in 18 different countries for the last 20 years. Martin Freeman has built and exited four fintech companies and is currently building his fifth one. Joyce Koffler is one of the most, uh, 10 most respected women in fintech in America. Paul Niederer actually ran the oldest equity crowdfunding platform in the world. He's known as uh, Mr. Compliance. You know, when the SEC needed help, they actually phoned him. And, you know, he's on our board with from a compliance and regulatory perspective. Dr. Dolph DeRuis is one of the most respected people in the world in terms of real estate education. Henny Besaidno and Peter Fenstra are those two billionaires that I met many years ago that help us make sure that we get into quality investments with quality partners. And then in the blockchain space, we're very grateful and very privileged to have Michael Turpin that's done over 60 ICOs, including the um, Ether or Ethereum uh, ICO. You've got Richard Titus, that's one of the more respected people in the space. And David Orban, that's actually a faculty member of Singularity University. And again, one of the most respected uh, names in the exponential technology blockchain uh, world, basically. And they're all giving us advice in terms of the blockchain strategy. So it's clearly something people are interested in. You know, we've got now got members from 109 countries, investors from 46. We've won a number of different awards 
But the thing that I'm proudest of is that, you know, although we've had over $68 million through the platform, the thing that truly I believe that the team deserves credit for is that we've got a higher than 70% reinvestment rate, which means we must be doing something right. When you look at those numbers, they're a little bit easier to see here. So, you know, a lot of those um, ICOs out there have wonderful ideas, great white papers, how they're going to change the world. These are our actual numbers, our actual track record, where, you know, an investor is someone who's taken money out of their pocket. So we've had, got investors from 46 countries. They've invested $68.3 million. It's over 1,600 transactions on the blockchain at an average of $42,000 per transaction. You can see we've got a team of 60 strong, so not my friend in China who I might employ one day if the ICO works. And there's the 70% reinvestment. And we've already paid out over $3.9 million in returns to the investor. A lot of people are talking about going global. A lot of people are excited and understand the opportunity of global. But there's a very big, very big difference between understanding the opportunity and having the boots on the ground and, and living the reality. I think one of the things that really differentiates us is the true understanding of the emerging markets and the opportunity within those emerging markets. We look for markets where there's large populations, where there's urbanization, where there's internet adoption. That symbolizes the rise of the middle class. And over the next 10 years, we're looking at a 1.8 uh, times growth just in the markets that we're focusing on, which is over 1.2 billion people. Now, when you consider the impact of the Chinese middle class, the rise of that Chinese middle class has had on the global economy over the next 20 years, and they're only somewhere between two and 400 million, you can start to, to, to understand how important this rise of the middle class is. The other thing that's interesting is when you look at global capital flows, billions and billions of dollars move around the world, primarily from the emerging world into the first world in real estate and even into commercial real estate. And yet that's still the top 1% of the top 1%. We're interested in the hundreds of millions, if not billions, of middle class people and rising middle class people that want access to exactly the same opportunities. And you can see what, what's happening in terms of the user adoption. So these are our members on the platform. You can see how they've grown. I mean, this, this we're not even finished January, and we've already got more members signed up in January than we had in the whole of 2016. And you can see the growth in terms of what happened in 2017. We're growing by 1.93% per day, or an average of 63.9% per month. In terms of the investors, you can see how they literally have grown dramatically over the last 12 months. And, um, and it always sort of levels out a little bit over the Christmas time. And then what's interesting is that you can see the transactions, which is actually how we make money. And you can see them year on year back to 2013, when the platform went live in October 2013. And um, you can see that we effectively three times ourselves from 2016 to 2017. And uh, at a minimum, the team is uh, estimating over 2,000 transactions in 2018. And the last thing that I think is important is that a lot of these ICOs are talking a good game. We're already post-revenue. You know, we, we for two years running, we've earned more than a million dollars. And um, this year, we actually closed out a very big portfolio sale at the end of last year. Uh, that will be coming early uh, in this first quarter, which is really going to materially impact our revenue uh, going into 2018. And so just to give you some uh, some examples of real life, uh, real life opportunities, you know, this this is a medical building. We bought it three years ago uh, from investors on five continents. The investors have been paid a 10 percent uh, per annum return that's in their pocket in U.S. dollars. Uh, this building here is 11.22. This building here is 8.49. This building has 8.29. It's just an example. And actually, we're really excited. And I don't have time tonight to go into it. But we actually, our, our whole exit strategy is really coming to the fore here, which is really, really exciting. Uh, we've got a lot of other projects around the world, but I just wanted to give you some examples. And for those that have you know, got Bitcoin, you can actually use your Bitcoin to invest in global real estate. So we've made that really easy. And you know, obviously, you can get uh, huge gains in uh, Bitcoin, but you can also take some of that off the table and, and uh, get really stable and safe investments in, in commercial real estate. And that's where we enter wealthy coin, because, you know, we've been asking for many years, we've been saying, well, if you look at Bitcoin, I mean, Bitcoin's really exciting. There's been a massive craze around it in the last 12 months. But what is it? You know, what what is the value of Bitcoin? You know, a lot of people on this call would probably 
you know, hesitate to give me an answer. But my brother, who's a doctor, my mother, who's a, a teacher, um, you know, John T's assistant, you know, and uh, they, they would have no idea uh, what Bitcoin is, uh, or more importantly, they would have heard of Bitcoin, but they won't know what the value is. And so we said, well, why not launch a cryptocurrency with all the benefits of cryptocurrency and blockchain, but base it on an asset class that every single person on the planet understands. And that's where we bring the wealthy coin. And um, what we're really excited about is whether you're a, a rickshaw driver in India, a rice farmer in, in, in China, uh, a goat herder in Africa, or an investment banker in New York, every single person understands the value of real estate. And that is what wealthy coin is all about. It's, it's, a, it's a cryptocurrency that is based on real estate. And I wanted to share with you something that I think is really important because I think it will explain in detail what is the wealthy coin and how is it going to work. We'd like to introduce you to a revolution, a revolution unlike any other throughout the history of mankind. This is a wealth revolution and it's going global. Did you ever think that you'd be able to benefit Oh, sorry. Benefit from the only real time-honored investment mankind has ever known. Real estate. Real estate investing has only ever been accessible to a small percentage of the world's population. This is no longer the case. The wealth revolution means that wherever you are on your wealth journey, be it taking your first steps or taking off globally, you can join our global community. A community of real estate investors just like you. The Global Wealth Group is experiencing exponential growth and wealth has never been this accessible. A truly global wealth revolution. We dream big. Our dream is to impact the lives of a billion people. One billion people. How will we do this? Through groundbreaking digital platforms that allow investors like you to take part in exciting real estate investment opportunities. These opportunities are waiting for you everywhere, anywhere, worldwide. Now you can invest in real estate with any amount of money, from the comfort of your couch or your internet device. Introducing our global brand ecosystem. Wealth Create, Wealth Migrate, Wealth University, the wealth movement and the wealth ecoin, which unlocks the entire ecosystem. Wealthcreate.com is a platform for those taking their first steps on the wealth journey. The new investors who earn whilst they learn using real or virtual currency. Imagine this. Now anyone can own part of a hospital, a share in their local shopping mall, co-invest in a new and exciting development or even earn quarterly returns from residential and commercial tenants. They, you, can now stand alongside multi-millionaire investors and earn the same relative amounts. Wealthmigrate.com is a platform for those investors who are already soaring, as well as those who seek to join them. You can now own and manage a global portfolio of commercial real estate and do it all online. You'll benefit from the capital growth of your investments and get paid quarterly dividends and first world currencies, whether they be from commercial tenants or the funding of developments. The global dashboard shows all available opportunities, potential investment pledges, upcoming deals, and most importantly, allows you to manage your global diversified portfolio in one place. Passports and visas also become easier to obtain as well as tax efficient structures that allow global flexibility. Create the freedom you desire for you and your family. Wealthuniversity.org is a video based e-learning platform for those who want their wealth knowledge to take off. Our research shows that the wealth mindset is the single most important aspect of creating and sustaining wealth. Test your wealth IQ and challenge friends and family to find out theirs. Acquire the thinking, secrets, habits, and proven success strategies used by the world's wealthiest investors, as well as that of our global community, who aren't just talking about it, but are actually creating it. Graduate and change your destiny and your future. Wealthmovement.com is the global gathering of our fans and followers in conferences hosted in local cities around the world.
inspiring minds to help each other create more sustainable global wealth. The goal, to build a wealthier world together and together to help reduce the wealth gap between the haves and the have-nots. Gain the latest up-to-the-minute knowledge of technology forecasts, internet finance, exponential thinking, collaborative smart investing, co-creation, apps and platforms, global wealth forecasts, cryptocurrencies, and new and exciting investment opportunities. This is your chance to meet your global wealth partners, co-investors, and friends, to be inspired by the world's wealthiest individuals, and to learn to think how they do. Wealthe.io is our cryptocurrency, which is based on real estate. It unlocks the entire ecosystem, whether it be the community working together on due diligence, education, investments, social networking, community engagement, purpose, or many other applications within the global wealth group ecosystem. Let's build a wealthier world together. The Wealth eCoin is the catalyst to ensure this happens. At the Global Wealth Group, we are pioneering a global wealth revolution. Join us. Let's change the world. So to all of you uh, online, it's always a little bit tricky to uh, show a video. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, literally, it was released today, uh, the latest version of that. So I look forward to uh, your thoughts and comments on it. Uh, Kevin, it is actually live now on, uh, on, the, um, on, the, on the YouTube channel, the Wild McGrath YouTube channel. So maybe what we could do is yeah, post I, the link I, in the chat box. Absolutely. The link posted already. Great. So thank you very much. So, so just a quick one, and we're going to get into the details. I know there's a lot of Q&A, and, and uh, Scott and Randy are going to go into the details around the wealthy coin, where we're at, and also answer a lot of people's questions. The most important thing people ask is, what is the use of funds? And you can see there that the first $5 million is to build out the platform development and the wealthy exchange. Uh, the next $5 million is to build out the brand ecosystem, so that's wealth, wealth, uh, the wealth movement, wealth university, et cetera, uh, to continue building out the team, the marketplace rollout. We're already in uh, seven different countries and uh, continue to expand that. We ideally want to get to a place where we're launching uh, four countries a quarter, um, obviously marketing and, and sharing the message. We want to run an ascent enterprise. We, we're really, really uh, grateful that Hero X, which is part of Peter, Peter Diamantes, um, we're going to effectively run an incentive challenge. I don't know if you've heard of the incentive challenge where the Ansari X Prize, where they uh, put up a $10 million prize to get the first rocket in space. Um, it's literally been around for centuries, incentive challenges to solve the greatest challenges on the planet. And we want to use it for smart investing so we can ultimately put smart investing in every single person's pocket. There's a, a gentleman that's uh, made some of the best documentaries in the world, a guy by the name of Jeff Hayes. And he's agreed to do a movie called The Wealth Gap so that we can share the message of what's happening in the world and educate people and give them solutions. And then the last $10 million will be invested directly in real estate so that there's actually uh, underpinning. Um, again, it's, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a cryptocurrency based on real estate. I prefer this uh, new graph that we just made, this new diagram, which is a Statue of Liberty. And it's done on purpose because the Statue of Liberty stands for people's freedom. Uh, and it stands for, for democracy, and, and we believe it's time to democratize wealth. And as you can see, as the levels of investment in the, in the ICO uh, increase, we, we do more to solve the greatest challenge on the planet and, and, and unlock the entire ecosystem within, uh, within the wealthy coin. And what's really important is that it also involves a real estate investment, and, and it's hard capped at $30 million. In terms of the timing, again, if we need to come back to this, we can. I think Randy and Scott are going to refer to this a lot. But we're in an interesting period now in terms of where we're going. Uh, we're building uh, fast now towards the momentum towards the end of January when effectively we go out into the market with the electronic uh, uh, platform and, and the white paper being finalized and everything else. Up until now, it's been our wealth partners and, and uh, close friends and family in terms of the process. And you know, I'm very, very grateful to say there's been a uh, a huge demand and, and a lot of capital raised already in terms of the process. But I'll let uh, Randy and Scott talk to this. And so before I hand over to them, I wanted to just leave you with uh, one thought. And that was that, you know, this is my son who at the age of five is learning that global monopoly, you know, to own red houses and green hotels and earn a passive income is what we call smart investing. His father 
with an incredible team has taken a dream of, of Monopoly and turned it into real life and ultimately now has a portfolio of residential and commercial properties diversified across four different continents, across residential and commercial, and sometimes with an investment as little as $100. But what's really important is that that's what we call smart investing. The wealthiest people in the world, they have what we call family offices, and it not only helps them get wealthy, but it helps them create generational wealth. It's what we call smart investing. And for me, I believe that you know, the question we ask ourselves is how can we put smart investing in every single person's pocket? And we believe that the wealthy coin is the catalyst to unlock that. It allows people the opportunity to not only get into a cryptocurrency, which is backed by a team that already has a marketplace, that already has a track record. It's backed by an asset class or, or based on an asset class that people understand. But also, it allows people to be able to benefit while having a purposeful impact on the planet and solving one of the greatest challenges that there is out there. And so that's all from me. I would like to um, hand over. I'm not going to worry about the next steps now. Um, I suggest we hand over to Scott and Randy and um, we can, we can uh, go straight on. Great. Thank you so much, Scott. I've just quickly put up a, put up a poll. So if everybody, while we hand over to Scott and Randy, if everybody can just quickly make a, make a vote there for, for what, for what uh, you want to. Um, while that's going, um, Randy, if, uh, if we can hand over to yourself and Scott to, to look at the progress and the roadmap and and um, how things have been going so far. So thank you very much, uh, Scott and Randy, over to you. Yeah, I'll take over from here, but unfortunately because of the poll, my controls are not available. So I don't know how we address that. Um, Scott, while we're going through the transition here, could you put up a uh, full screen, the uh, chart of the phases of the token sale event? Yeah, no problem. I, um... What we'll need to do, Kevin, is you'll need to just switch off the. Uh, yeah, I've, the I have closed the poll. Yeah, hang on, it's coming up here for you, Scott. But are you still seeing my screen? So are you guys seeing? That's correct. Now uh, here it's coming back. Yes, and it's a little fuzzy. I don't know if you can make it any clearer or larger or what have you. And now I can share my webcam. Okay, here we go. Hello, folks. Yeah, listening to that presentation, Scott, I have to pinch myself because it's just incredibly compelling. Um, and we, if, uh, as you can see here from the chart that's up, uh, we've split the uh, token sale event into four phases. One's called the pre-presale or what we're preferring to call now the private pre-sale. The second one is the pre-sale phase one. Uh, the third is the pre-sale phase two. And then the final one is the public token sale. And you can see the dates there um, to give you a little overview of what occurred during the private pre-sale, which began September 6th and went for approximately three months. Uh, uh, Scott and Kevin did a number of presentations uh, in cities such as Davos, Gibraltar, Las Vegas, Tokyo, uh, to uh, audiences of cryptocurrency investors. and. They were extremely well received. And as you can see there, the goal there was to raise a million dollars, but we blew uh, right past that and raised nearly 2.2 million in the private presale. And then uh, as of December 15th, uh, we're, we are now in the presale phase. And um, very shortly, there will be a white paper available, uh, which details the, uh, everything you'd like to know about the token sale event, but we're afraid to ask as well as a token overview, which is a summary of the key features of the token. And that will be available shortly uh, for everyone to examine, and then you can participate in the pre-sale. Um, one um, uh, uh, highlight, I guess I would say, from the private pre-sale, just to tell you the, um, the, the, the quality of the reception that we got, we held a investor event in Tokyo, uh, and this was uh, on May 12th, I believe. I'm sorry, not May 12th, but December 12th. Um, mm -hmm. and, and we, it was a, it was a private event uh, through a partner that we have in East Asia called FinTech Global Consulting. 
Uh, they uh, know quite a, a bit of the cryptocurrency investment community in Japan. Uh, sometimes it's not uh, well known that 40% uh, of the Bitcoin in the world is held by Japanese citizens. And so it's a very fertile but, but very underserved uh, market in terms of uh, uh, token sale event opportunities. And so we arranged a uh, presentation at the Tokyo American Club, uh, and it was an evening event, and we had targeted to get 70 to 80 pre-qualified active token purchasers at the event. And in the end, we had a, over 150. It was a standing room only house. Scott gave a fabulous presentation and it was very well received. And even though it was the holiday period and the end of the year, we were able to do follow up with quite a few of those 150 investors and universally they were very interested. Uh, we're in the process of getting the white paper and token overview translated into Japanese so that we can go in and close those uh, purchasers. But we believe that from that one event, uh, we'll probably net uh, several million dollars. And uh, so that, that was very exciting, a great way to end the year. And now we're ready to um, restart the momentum uh, by reaching out to other people around the globe and, uh, and commence with this next phase of the pre-sale which as you can see from your slide, our goal is to raise just $3 million in this first phase. Uh, and then once that's accomplished, we'll roll into the second phase of the pre-sale. So um, Scott, is, uh, Scott P, is there anything else you wanted me to cover in terms of just the overview of where we are with the pre-sale or with the token sale event rather? Yeah, to some extent, um, I, would, I would like uh, just a little bit, Scott, to discuss, I think, you know, some of the changes and challenges that there's been sort of in the market per se, if you want to call it that. So obviously the market, you know, we're going to go into an FAQ now, but, um, you know, there's been lots of, I mean, the market's gone crazy. It's gone up, it's gone down, you know, there's been regulatory changes, et cetera. And um, obviously for all of us going through the process, that's, that's all, it also creates a very interesting environment. What's been your experience of being on the ground, um, not only with our ICO, but in terms of generally, um, as to what you're finding in the market. Yeah, I noticed that Bitcoin is at eleven thousand one hundred and fifty-five dollars. Uh, just, uh, just FYI. Uh, I don't know if the folks who are watching are aware that uh, it went as high as nearly twenty thousand in the last couple of months. Uh, it has been very volatile. Um, I, I and Randy uh, lived through the internet bubble of the you know ninety-eight, ninety-nine, two thousand. And um, I have to tell you that this environment is even more volatile, even more crazy. You know, even, uh, there's even less, you know, rules of physics, uh, if you will, or economics at work. Uh, and uh, so it makes it a very difficult environment because literally every month the environment is shifting and evolving. And so the rules for how to do a successful token sale event that were true in September uh, no longer apply. And so we have to constantly be in a process of watching what's going on in the environment and adjusting what our approach is. Um, and there are several things that are affecting token sale events. One is that um, uh, because of what's happening with the prices of cryptocurrency, now they're, they're back down again, but as they were going up, uh, people were holding on to their cryptocurrencies and, and that caused them to be a little bit more cautious about investing in new tokens. Uh, another thing is that there are, when, uh, as opposed to, let's say, the early part of 2017, when there might be one or two token sale events a day, uh, as we exited 2017, there were more like 10 or 20 a day. And uh, I don't see any uh, slowing up in that in that in, in the increase in that number. So what that means is that there are uh, a lot more token sale events for the money that's available uh, to uh, get involved in them, and that's created a dynamic. And towards the end of last year, there were a number of companies that uh, a few months earlier would have had no problem uh, raising their targets, uh, but were struggling. And uh, another reason why that's the case is there are a few uh, you know, monster ICOs that are happening uh, that are primarily momentum ICOs or platform ICOs uh, where uh, that, that kind of suck the oxygen out of the air because, it was, because they're seen as 
short-term, uh, very uh, lucrative speculations, people want to jump on that train. And because uh, to date, the token sale event uh, has been something that's been primarily uh, just spec uh, momentum and speculation, uh, people were jumping on the latest train. Um, however, because of all those effect uh, factors, there's also now a recognition that the what I call the vaporware or the field of dreams ICOs are going to run out of steam. There's a flight to quality. And what token sale purchasers are looking for now is companies that have a good underlying business, a real business model, something that's not a pie in the sky, something that's not uh, extremely risky uh, you know, and, and unproven. And so they're looking for exactly the type of companies that uh, Wealth Migrate is, which is a company with a proven business model, with a business track record, uh, and one that's ready to scale and where the funds are being used to scale a successful business. And uh, th so that's one of the reasons why we're seeing the incredible interest we're seeing in Wealth Migrate is because people are beginning to understand that in the long run, those are the best types of token sale events uh, to get involved with. Uh, so, uh, and so that, so in my mind, that um, positions uh, Wealth Migrate and the Wealthy Coin extremely well. We're just at the right place at the right time. And uh, now it's just a, pro just a, a process of executing uh, a good, uh, robust token sale event. And just so, tell me, just before, just before we move over to, to Nick, um, who can sort of explain uh, where, where he's at. The last question that I've got for probably Randy is that there's a lot of eager, particularly wealth partners, et cetera, that are really keen to kind of get their hands on the white paper. I know we put out a, a very early version of it before Christmas, but, uh, you know, the now finalized polished version. When, when, what are your expectations on two things, Randy? Um, the website and the, with the payment gateway, et cetera, and then secondly on the, um, uh, on the white paper. Um, as far as the white paper is concerned, it should be ready within this month, and the uh, the payment gateway and the um, website um, should be ready in early February. So things are just about to happen on both fronts. Okay. Well, with that, Nick, I think it's probably time to hand over to you. I don't know if you want me to still keep uh, my PowerPoint open or if you want me to close it. And uh, what what do you want, Nick? Yeah, no, please feel free to leave it open today. Uh, it's going to be a bunch of light touches on the 31st. Um, you know, when we when we have that white paper live and when we have uh, all the other assets in place, we'll be launching uh, a very exciting opportunity that I'll talk about in just a second. But, um, you know, first of all, I just want to explain a little more about what I'm here to do. Um, I'm presently acting as point person as community management for the, the uh, coin. And essentially what, I, what I'm here to do is to provide all the information you guys need to feel confident to be part of this community and engage in the token sale. So I'm posting here in the chat channel a link to our Telegram channel. This is one of the best ways for you guys to engage with us directly. You can reach out to me, you can reach out to Kevin, uh, you can ask questions, and then I can keep you posted on things as they happen in the moment, which is a really, really powerful tool. Um, so definitely, if you're not already in the channel, please feel free to hop in there. It's a great, great tool. So hopefully, uh, I see you in there, yeah. and we have a conversation. Nick, yeah. sorry to be, uh, but for the people that uh, watch this uh, as a recording, um, the, the link will be below. They just have to click below. Awesome, awesome, good to know. Um, so beyond that, um, to to help incentivize you guys and to encourage you guys to be part of this awesome opportunity What we are going to be doing is releasing a bounty program. This bounty program allows you to to be active uh, by, by taking the resources you already have the social media platforms You're already engaged with and allowing you to to share content that we post and write blog articles about us and really be active um, and through this you can earn uh, actual wealth e tokens when they come into uh, when they come into minting and so on and so forth. So um, next week when we when we release the white paper, you're going to see more about that. It's going to be awesome. Um, beyond that, I see that a lot of you guys are very new to cryptocurrency, new to the investment and in ICO world. Uh, part of what I'm here to do for you guys is to give you the tools that you need to feel confident in that. So if you've never participated in an ICO, 
be on the lookout for FAQs and tutorials so that when the time comes, you can invest with confidence. Um, aside from that, that's essentially what I'm here for. So, um, yeah. Tell us, tell us a little bit more, uh, Nick, about a bounty program. Like, if someone hasn't heard of it, obviously, if you you know well versed in the crypto space, you you know what uh, you're talking about. But if but if you haven't heard about it, uh, particularly if you're a you know wealth partner or an active member of our community, how do you share it, and what benefit do I get out of it for sharing it? Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, what we have in place here is a staking system. So based on the number of people, followers that you have on Twitter or the number of followers that you have on YouTube when you create your content, it's going to allow you to generate stakes. Uh, now, out of the token sale, we have allotted uh, a set amount, which again, when it is published, you'll, you'll see all the numbers and all the detailed charts there. Um, but essentially, uh, every, every section of social media that you could potentially uh, participate in has a set number of um, has a set number of tokens dedicated to it, and when you post and when you share content, you generate what's called a stake. And these stakes, um, when we when it comes time to divvy up this bounty, are going to determine what sort of return that you see. Um, so uh, I'm going to actually see if I can bring it up here real quick. Um, I had it open just before here. But essentially, um, you'll be able to participate on a weekly basis with the content that we're publishing um, based on what sort of content you're creating um, will garner you higher rewards. So if you are bilingual, for example, we will offer opportunities for you to write translations of our white paper or of our website. Um, you know, if you are a blogger and you write articles, all, all these sorts of things are going to garner you higher levels of rewards and uh, wealth e tokens. So. Uh, again, we're gonna we're gonna publish that, and that's gonna go live next week, um, and that's when you guys are really gonna see all the details and all the benefit that you can that you can see from participating in this bounty program. Yeah. So to so to jump in there, Nick, um, on the thirty first of January, we are hosting a live webinar with uh, David Orban. Now, David is an investor. He's uh, in the wealthy coin. He's a wealth partner. Um, and like I already explained, is one of the most respected venture capitalists in, in, in exponential technologies and blockchain, etc. So we're going to be running a webinar. And maybe, Kevin, you can tell us a little bit about the webinar uh, where he's going to be sharing his thoughts on what's happening. And, and Kevin can explain that. And then at the same time, we're going to be launching the Bounty program um, out on that webinar. So, Kevin, just tell us a little bit about that webinar from, um, from David, please. Sure, I'll do that. So whilst I'm doing that, there is a there is a poll that's up. So uh, Scott, while I'm talking, perhaps you can take this poll down and put up the next one. But essentially, on the on the 31st of January, we will be starting the first of a series of webinars with David, um, where we're going to be looking at a number of topics around. Uh, blockchain, the internet, and really where we see the the world going, and it's it's really exciting. On the thirty first, Scott and David are going to be covering what we can sort of look to expect in twenty eighteen in terms of in terms of uh, in terms of cryptocurrencies and the blockchain. What are we going to see? We've We've seen some interesting uh, things happening in 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 the world with present companies, for example, like Kodak mentioning or you know putting out there that there's perhaps a Kodak coin, um, or the fact that there's been lots of information out there, most of which you know look could have been spam and could have been. Uh, Potential for, uh, for for getting people's money around Telegram and 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 what could be potential there. So, so yeah. So the webinar is going to be all about how how is 2018 going to look with regards to developments happening in the blockchain space. And so yeah, we uh, I uh, suggest that you that you do. Look at signing up. We've already got a number of people that are that are signed up for that webinar, and 
I know the link is already in the Telegram group, so we'll push the Telegram group to 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 get people to to use that as a as a source of information, and that's where you'll be able to find uh, the link to that webinar. And yeah, I think I think you know one of the things I always say is that in a volatile world, like Scott Meyer said, you know the most important thing is to get access to people that have their finger on the pulse, to get access to the best information, so you can make educated and informed decisions. And that's why we are um, having the webinar with with David Orban, and that's why uh, Nick and some of our partners will be sharing uh, what's happening with the Bounty Program as well. So I'm going to close out the uh, survey that we've got online there, uh, Kevin. Maybe what we can do is just post in the chat box. Uh, the link to that uh, that uh, that webinar um, on the 31st of January, and then what I suggest we actually do is that we get into the FAQ. There were quite a few FAQs, and maybe Kevin, if you want to drive that process, um, and, and we can answer the questions um, as in who should answer. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Scott. So, first of all, thanks to everybody when signing up. Those people who did have questions to ask, um, as as I said right at the beginning. We always look for um, really interactive, interactive webinars where people ask questions, and so we're gonna we we we're gonna start with some of the questions that that people asked uh, on registration, and then there are a number of questions that have already come through uh, this evening, and we'll then go over to those. So if we if we just start with um, the questions um, in terms of in terms of the questions that were asked in the in the uh, registration, we have um, as as a wealth migrate customer and a crypto enthusiast, um, I'm extremely excited about what you are offering. Are there any pre ICO pre-token sale offerings for wealth migrate clients. So I think we covered that uh, this this evening already. I don't know if Scott, if you want to have anything more to say, but I think that question we actually have covered. Well, yeah, let me just let me just answer it quickly in case people don't know. So something that we started about three years ago was the wealth partner community, who effectively are people who are shareholders in the company. Um, they're in the Global Wealth Group, so they, they are shareholders in the entire ecosystem. And what we've offered our wealth partners is that if they invested, they got uh, shares as well as an allocation of tokens. And so whoever's asking that question, as a wealth migrate investor, um, if you've invested in the real estate projects, then we would definitely like to, as, as Scott said, give you a, a first look in and get you an opportunity to really get in in the in the initial rounds, uh, but you would come second in line uh, behind the um, wealth uh, partners uh, in terms of the process. Perfect. There's there there were a few questions around Telegram. Um, so as Nick has already pointed out, um, he is going to be there in the group. I'm also in the group. Yes, Telegram is a different app. Um, it's very similar to, you know, to WhatsApp or WeChat uh, or Line for those of you in other countries using different apps. Um, the great thing about Telegram is it, it is a decentralized uh, um, app and uh, pr privacy on the app is really good. And so if if you are having any issues, you know, please please do let us know. But it really does work the same as same as any other any other app. The 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 thing with that that we would like to just share is so for the wealthy coin we have a wealthy coin channel, and that channel is not a group chat. It's just a one way conversation, or well, not a conversation, a one way channel where we will be putting out announcements. And so that channel is different to the group chat, which we've put the link to um, uh, this evening. The group chat really is where you can ask questions, you can have discussions. But when you when you do sign up, you'll notice a pinned post there that sort of gives the rules of the channel, uh, which Nick has put up. So essentially, the channel is about wealth, the wealth e coin. Um, we you know, and it's not a it's not a general 
chat about cryptocurrencies. There are a number of channels on Telegram, a number of groups on Telegram that are just speaking about, about uh, cryptocurrencies in general. So please join one of those. But in terms of our uh, group, it really is about discussions about wealth e coin. Uh, Nick, I don't know if you want to you want to say anything about that. Yeah, no, that was uh, that was a really really great introduction um, to uh, the channel. Again, uh, just reiterating that the announcement channel is there. Uh, you know, it's a one sided conversation where we will publish the latest and greatest content. And then if you have questions to so just come into the uh, to the general chat and to to ask those and um, you know I will be on that as soon as possible um, yeah so that's that's essentially it for telegram um, but again just to just to quickly dock off a couple of the other questions here on uh, that were that were asked during the registration period is that uh, you know if you're really if you're really new to this scene don't be don't be shy to reach out to me and give me a private message I'll also be posting content in the channel um, about you know standard uh, standard how to's and best practices when it comes to getting involved in crypto because it is a very exciting space but as Scott mentioned earlier it is really valuable uh, volatile so I want to make sure that you guys are um, you know ready and feel confident but also uh, secure and safe so that you can avoid some of the common pitfalls that uh, newbie investors see. So, um, so yeah, don't be afraid to ask. I will be posting content uh, on the channel. So again, this is probably the best place. I will also be posting uh, uh, content on a, a wealthy coin based uh, medium channel um, as well as on Twitter as well. So do be on the lookout for that. I will post those channels in the um, in the chat there so that you guys can participate in those if you feel like it and um yeah i'll toss it back to you scott or kevin sorry if, hey right. scott, if i could just jump in here with one comment um yeah. uh that is that uh you know for for people that are attending uh we encourage you to spread the word about what we're doing in this era of social media uh, a lot of the way that people find out about good opportunities is through their personal network and so sharing the Okay, Scott, I think we've lost Scott Mize there. Scott, we just lost you for a while. You got caught in the sort of internet there. The pipe got blocked. Uh, am I back? Oh, you're back there. Yes, you are. But, 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 per, perhaps that was uh, due to um, oh, the thing's gone out of my head. What's happening in America with your internet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So, my, I mean, the bottom line of my comment was, I don't know how much came through, was that uh, we encourage people to uh, spread the word about what we're doing, you know, through the social media channels, uh, through their own, you know, uh, networks uh, about what we're doing with the webinars and passing the word on about that and also uh, asking people to join the group chat because uh, that's one of the key ways that we build the community. Yeah. Uh, and all it takes to get somebody into the Telegram channel, if you just take the invite link that I shared in the chat there and, um, you know, post that to your friends, family, uh, whoever it is you want to join us, um, all it takes is them clicking on that link and they can hop in on the conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The, the, the next question here is just uh, asking how is wealthy coin different from Bitcoin or the thousands of other coins out there? Uh, is it speculation how does it link to property so there's a few questions in there um so yeah i don't know who wants to tackle that one i i might start um uh the wealthy coin the way that it's designed it's it's to help build the community around the platform and so the the the, the tokenomics all relate to it being a utility token to help incentivize and drive activity around the platform. It's not actually a asset backed um, situation. We're not actually using the token to, to pay for property. The token is really um, a loyalty token to help build the community. Um, how it's different from Bitcoin is that 
it, it, again, it's not a currency. It's not uh, a way of buying the real estate per se. Uh, Bitcoin is a is actually a currency, and you can use it um, to buy things. And you can um, it, it's it's meant to be that uh, where the wealthy coin is a is a mechanism um, to help uh, wealth migrate. Uh, to excite its community and reward its community for participating in the platform. I think I think I want to add to that because I think uh, there's quite a lot more that I would add to that, Randy. You know, at the end of the day, it's on the on the platform. There's a whole lot of transactional spaces, so there's five major components to it. The first one is investing, okay, and going through the investment process. The second one is the due diligence space. You know, we see a world where being able to get access to the best opportunities and the best partners in the same way that you've got Wikipedia and Uber and Airbnb where, where the community is, is providing assistance to each other, we see a world where you know, due diligence is, is on the same basis. Uh, third way is where you've got the education. You know, so we've got, as you know, with Dr. Dolph DeRuis, we've got advanced real estate uh, courses. Uh, both on resident, well, beginner, residential, intermediate, international, and and commercial and global, and allowing people to participate and go through that and learn and and increase their knowledge so they can make better and informed decisions for them and their family. And then you've got the community engagement. You know um, everything that the Nick was talking around. You know in the beginning it's a bounty program, but ongoing there's all the community engagement and, and uh, involvement. And then number five is the purpose and. You know, through the wealth movement, ultimately enabling um, the community at large to solve the greatest challenge on the planet. Now, everyone that's participating in that in that community will be getting access to to wealthy coins, and those wealthy coins they'll be able to use and transact on you know uh, within Wealth Migrate and and the other platforms, and ultimately on the wealthy exchange, and that will drive the entire ecosystem and and unlock the value. And um, as as we said. The last $10 million will actually be invested uh, in real estate um, in terms so that, you know, because the intention is that we want to continue to grow the, the, the whole basis of what we're doing. As Randy says, at the moment, it is a utility coin and it's there to drive participation within the ecosystem. But the most important thing when it comes to Bitcoin, which determines the value of Bitcoin, is that it's got no intrinsic value. The only thing that determines its value is supply and demand. And in our case, there are three things that I think people need to understand. One is that we already have a track record of that demand. We've already got investors from 46 countries, members from 109 countries around the world. Two is that we are solving one of the greatest problems that people have, which is people in the middle class, both in the emerging world and in the first world, want access to the same opportunities as the top 1%. And three is we're targeting the markets where billions of people are ultimately going to want to, are going to have a burning desire to solve their, their personal financial situation. And we are going to provide the solution for that. And with a finite supply and a massively increasing demand, uh, that is what drives the economics of the wealthy coin. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, Scott. The next question is just what is the, uh, what is going to be the, the, the question is, what is the value of the wealthy coins in terms of dollars? How much can be purchased? Is there, is there a cap that people have in, in, in order to, to purchase? Um, as we talked about earlier, um, there's a hard cap of 30 million. And so, I mean, if, the, if there was someone that was so interested in, uh, wealthy coin that they wanted to buy up the entire allotment. Um, that's, you know, that's basically where we're at is to uh, is the upper limit of investing in wealthy coin would be to take out and pay up through the hard cap. Um, uh, what typically is the case is that most people um, uh, will be interested in buying at certain levels and as we looked earlier, as people get involved in the pre-sale and the token sale, depending upon um, the level of their interest, whether it's 100,000 or 250,000 or, 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 or whatever, 
that determines bonus levels that, that they could enjoy. And then when we get to the crowd sale, it's really a, uh, the timing um, determines a bonus level. So if they want to get in right early on in the first hour, first day, first week, they can actually enjoy a nice bonus at that at that moment in time. Yeah, yeah and I think I think what's important just to add to to that, Randy, is I, you know, personally, I wouldn't accept thirty million dollars from one person. That's exactly why we haven't gone uh, the venture capital and institutional route with one partner. And you know, the greatest asset we've got in this company is our wealth partners. Um, at last count, there was 125. I think it's gone up in the last couple of days by a few more. So let's say just below 130. And um, that's that's a community of people all around the world that have a vested interest in truly, you know, making this platform a success and solving the greatest challenge on the planet. And really, for me, what is exciting around the wealthy coin is we're just doing that uh, on steroids. So you know, allowing a global community to participate to enjoy the success of the platform and to solve the greatest challenge on the planet. And so it's not about you know one person, it's about enabling uh, a, a large community. And in the same way as, as other uh, coins out there, you know, it's, it's really important that, uh, that we've got that economic distribution. Uh, secondly, I think what, what's, what's really important here uh, for people to understand is that you know, there's a lot of questions, and, and you know, Kevin, I'm, I'm not sure if you're aware of them all in the chat box. There's a lot of questions asking around, how does it work? What is the importance? You know, a lot of those questions we're going to answer within the white paper. A lot of people are asking, you know, when, you know, what, uh, what exchanges can they go on, etc. But the, the thing I would say is that, you know, you've got um, Kevin's details, you've got my details, uh, particularly if you're a wealth migrate investor or a wealth partner. You know, speak to us now, and um, you know, we can we can still see if we can get you into one of the, the pre pre rounds. Someone was asking what amounts uh, you can invest in, and you know, maybe I should go back to that slide. Um, where, where I was sharing it, but there are different timings and different amounts depending on what people do. But the intention once we go into the crowd sale is we really want people to be able to participate from all different levels um, so that really everyone uh, can be part of the process. And um, that's, that's very, very important to us. Um, so there, there's obviously a benefit um, in terms of the timing and, 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 and people participating. But once we go to the crowd sale, is you know we really want to enable everyone to be able to participate in this yeah absolutely um and yeah as as you can see from the from the uh table that is up there um for those people who who uh contribute right at the beginning of the crowd sale the the bonus is is pretty significant and of course, everybody in the community is is going to be, um, you know, is going to know exactly when that is because, you know, if, again, if you're following all the groups, we're going to make sure that that people know so that uh, you can you can get, um, you know, the, the the best bonus possible for yourselves. Um, as as Scott has mentioned, there there are quite a few questions just around. Uh, the actual inner workings, how's it going to work? Am I going to be able to use fiat currency in order to contribute? Do I need to buy Ethereum or Bitcoin? Um, and so, like Scott has said, all of those uh, questions will be will 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 be answered through the website and the white paper. Um, but it, essentially, it is. It really is in your best interest um, to to uh, look at getting into the crowd sale with um, with either uh, I, I, or you know with a cryptocurrency because you can purchase that cryptocurrency at a at a time that's good. For example, right now um, that uh, you know that that it is in a is in a bit of a dip. So. Um, you know, again, engage with engage with 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 Nick and myself and the and the team around around that. Nick sort of has made himself available uh, to you know to help people out, um, especially people who this is is right at the beginning. Nick, or am I? Uh, are you are you happy there? Yeah, no, that was that was great. And and so yeah, what we what we have done with this token is we've actually built it on the Ethereum blockchain uh, for those of us who are a little more advanced there. So. 
Uh, my understanding is that it is what's called an ERC20 token, um, and which is, which is pretty standard for a lot of token sales these days. So I have a really great walkthrough for anyone who this is a first time experience with ICOs. I'll actually post that right after this conversation in the Telegram channel and in uh, the chat as well. So if you guys uh, you know aren't as technologically savvy, um, you can still definitely seize the day and participate in that. So um, yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely here as a resource for you guys. Uh, I don't bite. If you want to send me a private message, um, don't be shy. I'm here to help. Guys, do you mind if I've, I've got a couple of these FIQs? Do you mind if I just rapid fire through them? Yep. Yeah. Go ahead, Scott. Um, so some of them we sort of answered some of their items. So I'm just going to kind of run through them quickly. How does the wealthy coin differ from Bitcoin? And how does the property value link to the underlying value? So like we said, it's based on real estate and if you if you go back to that um you know the uh, statue of liberty the intention really is uh you know 10 million dollars to actually invest in real estate uh which is which is really important and, and it's one of the key differentiators and with time we want to continue that where you know more and more is is actually based on on real estate um how liquid is the coin well for six months um it's it's uh i don't know what the exact term is uh, randy but it's effectively got a lockdown and then and then uh, effectively it will go live. Um, the understanding is that it's going to be very liquid because it's going to be part of the ecosystem. However, you know, I always say to people, there is willing buyer, willing seller um, in terms of the process. So, you know, I think that's something people need to take into account. Um, in terms of how to invest into crypto and what the best and lucrative options are, which broker or platform is best, uh, tonight's the, not necessarily the best option for that. I would recommend getting on the Telegram group and and or the uh, WhatsApp group where we actually discuss that in a huge amount of detail. Um, I don't have expertise is, is the same. Um, and, you know, I've participated in Bitcoin. So, again, we can answer it. And, and also, you know, I think really we do do a lot on the on the social media channels and um, and also on the on the webinars. We've got a lot of webinars coming up. I would like to know. Uh, what are the steps in starting in Wealthy when the when the crowdfunder started? Uh, is there an app to manage one's account in the currency, and will it, will uh, will be the crypto? So, uh, what will it, the crypto sell that? So the intention is to launch it at ten uh, US cents a dollar, so USD ten cents, and whatever the Ethereum amount equivalent is. Um, and my understanding is, uh, Kevin, that we're going to try and make it as easy as possible for for, for those crypto enthusiasts. There'll be a way. Uh, and we'll figure out a way um, for fiat, people who want to do it fiat as well. What is the minimum, maximum wealthy coins, uh, value of wealthy coins you're allowed to purchase? Again, I've answered that question. Uh, we want a fair distribution across the uh, across the network. Uh, what are our social media marketing plans? Um, <laughs> that's uh, you know that's an internal one uh, for the wealth partners. We do have a wealth partner update on the twenty something of February, twenty seventh of February, I think it is. Uh, which exchanges will you be releasing on? Randy, I don't know if you want to talk about that, or is that something we will talk about at a later stage? Um, the um, the the question of the exchanges is um, the exchanges. Uh, we will be on a number of exchanges, and and the exchanges require um, uh, uh, an application process, which includes. Um, uh, all of the all of the preparatory uh, things that we're doing right now they require um, the final white paper they require seeing the website they require all of these things so we're, we're right in the in the, the beginning process of making sure that we go through the applications to the, the appropriate exchanges um, uh, the big exchanges require that you're on a medium-sized exchange before they allow you to be on a big exchange so we'll be going through this process of Getting on some of the smaller exchanges and then trading up into the larger exchanges as we uh, move through the, the, the pre sale. Excellent. And then, um, how will we show shown how to invest? Uh, I think Nick's on to that. How risky is this type of investment? Well, you know, crypto, the crypto world is, uh, I'll quite frankly say, uh, volatile and risky at the moment. Um, so, you know, every single person I've heard speaks says never invest more than 10% of of your you know net assets and how much cash you know do you require to get started my understanding is we're going to get it down to as little as a hundred dollars uh, per person to be able to participate in the wealthy coin uh would would uh, like to know what is the hard cap and we as south africans can we join 
Uh, yes. So uh, can you join us, South Africans? Yes, yes, you can. Um, right. Let's just see here if there were any others that we haven't answered quickly. I don't know. Uh, just shout, Kevin, if there's anything. Sue Styles asked the question. I did answer it, I think, already in terms of what determines the value. Uh, primarily supply and demand. And um, for us, it's really important because the supply is fixed and the demand is, is, is growing exponentially. And then also the fact that we're investing in real estate, um, I think, is critical. Uh, what is the process of Peter Ferry? I think we've uh, we've been through that, and um, you know I know the intention is to try go the crypto route, but there are many people that are in the fiat world that want to participate, and that's you know pretty much what all our wealth partners have have done. Um, there's a question here: How does blockchain differ from the hash grab? Um, does anyone understand the question? Sorry, Ciposeto, um, I don't understand the question. Um, I can't really speak to that question, but um, I actually wanted to ask one from the Telegram channel that came up um, really quickly here. And uh, I think you guys will appreciate this one. We've got people asking, where can we buy these awesome wealthy coin t-shirts? <laughs> I, I always joke, Kevin, if you, don't, if you don't make it in anything else in life, you should start creating t-shirts. So, uh, no, that's a, it's a very valid question. And it's something actually that we need to, to, uh, to a lot of our wealth partners have been asking for it. A lot of our team have been asking for it. So we need to figure out a way to 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 get them out to the public. Awesome. Um, in in cool. the spirit of in the spirit of uh, DIY, if anybody is interested in the actual design, the you know to 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 DIY, we're happy to give that. But we can definitely look at at figuring out how we can get the t-shirt out. <laughs> Nick, Nick, as part of our bounty program, I think it's essential that, it, you know, to do something quite small, you get a t-shirt. <laughs> um, More than fair. Uh, then uh, Ricardo asked, uh, what is the uh, total token supply? Um, I know, Randy, you've got all the details from the white paper. The t as I recall from the white paper, the total t the total supply of tokens is is um, uh, six hundred million, and we're and we're uh, putting out fifty percent of the uh, tokens into the to the crowd sale. Okay, so again, that's how you get up to th the thirty million hard cap. Yeah, and again, the next question ties directly into that. So uh, each uh, wealthy coin, and remember, a coin and tokens the same thing. So every each wealthy coin is uh, 10 cents uh, to start off with. That's what they're being launched at. Uh, does the wealthy coin benefit from the investment returns? It seems as though the token economic center on auxiliary services, but not the investment portfolio itself. So if one invests in the coin, is an investment in the portfolio is just a membership network of auxiliary services. Um, the question is a great question and it's it's actually both. So in if you if you invest in a coin and you passively sit back and just earn the returns from real estate, then effectively it's a security um, and it would pass the Howey test. What's really important uh, for a utility coin is that people need to be able to actively participate uh, in the community. And so what we're doing, and, and it's really to drive community engagement, is that the wealthy coin is ancillary services. And uh, um, think of it you know, like the Discovery Network where people are participating and actively being involved. And with that, they're being rewarded in wealthy tokens, which will enable them to transact on the on the wealthy exchange, uh, to buy services like education, invest in real estate, um, you know, be part of the due diligence, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and we're investing in real estate. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a long, long answer to your question, but it, but it effectively is both. But the most important thing is that there's active participation so that it's seen as a utility token. Um, so how does the coin link to property? I buy the coin and then what? How will one get a return? Is this venture capital only? I don't get it, I'm afraid. Okay, so um, hopefully I've just answered that, Mark, in terms of the process. Like I said, of the $30 million, $10 million is being invested in real estate with the intention over time for a lot more to be invested in real estate. And uh, secondly, um, is it venture capital? No, it is cryptocurrency investing. Um, and one needs to understand the team, one needs to understand the token economics, and one needs to um, take a view on the supply and the demand and where the coin is going. 
Um, it's, it's different from venture capital or angel investing, uh, et cetera. Uh, will the wealthy coin be linked to any existing wealth, uh, wealth migrate real estate deals or to new ones? So cloud no, it won't be the existing ones. Um, it will be uh, new ones, although any participation, even in the existing ones at a transactional level. So the ideal thing is that Joe Soap, who's living in China, will be able to invest in a medical building in America and using the wealthy coins will be able to dramatically uh, reduce the, the frictional costs and allow people to, to invest. And so what this will allow, particularly with the wealthy exchange, is also a secondary market. And therefore, it could be existing uh, wealth migrate deals in the secondary market. Uh, but it won't, yeah, that won't be unless people actually want to um, exit uh, from their current deals. Uh, will you eventually be able to trade the wealthy coin on major exchanges? I think uh, we've already answered that uh, from Randy. So we'll go to the medium yeah. exchanges first and then, and then to the large ones. Uh, will wealthy currency be tradable as Bitcoin? If so, how do you have a hundred a thousand of real estate wealthy worth one million of years? So that's a great question, Martin Hoffman. Um, in terms of so basically, what he's asking is that if the intrinsic value of the coin is worth a thousand dollars, but uh, but the coin is actually worth a million dollars, you know, you've got a you've got a difference. Uh, the question I would ask you, Martin, is that on the stock exchange, are there any companies where the intrinsic value of a share is X? And yet the share price is why, um, and and hopefully that answers your question. There could be uh, arbitrage opportunity between them, but our coin will always be based on intrinsic. You know, it'll always have a floor value based on intrinsic value rather than purely hype, supply, and demand. How does wealthy coin solve the divide between the middle class uh, access to high end opportunities? Uh, Natasha, in simple terms, already on our platform, you can invest from a hundred dollars in um, some of the best opportunities around the world, which previously you would have needed $5 million or above. So it's really giving you access to good quality commercial opportunities in England, Australia, America, and South Africa. The wealthy coin is just enhancing that entire process, improving the trust, uh, reducing the frictional costs, and allowing more and more people to participate. Uh, what if the 30 million is not reached? Uh, Mark, as, as described with the Statue of Liberty, um, there's, the, there's a hard cap at 30 million, uh, but even if five millions reached, it'll all go into the into the, the the token economics, the platform growth, the wealthy exchange, and then as per the Statue of Liberty, um, which I've actually got on the screen here, every single stage just enables more stuff to happen, which will increase the value of the wealthy coin and go further to solving the, the greatest gap. Um, if it's not a currency and only used to create hype around property investment business. But no ownership property. What will drive the price of the coin? Supply and demand will initially drive, but essentially, coin is funding the property business like entity. Not sure how this will end on the longer term. Your thoughts? So, Kerry, uh, uh, I think I think I've answered that question. Hopefully, um, in terms of the the process, let me know if I haven't. Uh, what will be the minimum? So that's a hundred dollars. How will tokens be sold and in current and in currency? Will the proceeds be paid? Uh, how will they be sold? That's a good question. I'm not actually sure about that. So how will the tokens be sold and in and what currency will the proceeds be paid? Uh, I presume, um, like any other token, once they're on the exchanges, people will be able to uh, buy and sell them in, in you know, whatever currencies they've got or want. Um, but I don't know if anyone else has got a better answer than me on that. No, the exchanges will allow, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, liquidating the token into, into other um, cryptocurrencies or fiat currencies in terms of buying will will allow you to buy in cryptocurrencies and we'll have tools that allow you to come in and use fiat currency. So uh, so depending on whether you're buying or depending upon whether at some point you want to sell, you'll have the flexibility to do what you need to, uh, to buy or to sell. Cool. Uh, Harry, I said, it seems like the property uh, business equity shareholders will be the winners here using the coin fund to business without giving away any equity. Um, I think it's really important here. Yeah, uh, there is no property business. Uh, Wealth Migrate is a global real estate marketplace. It's a marketplace like Uber or Airbnb or Etsy. Uh, it's to drive transactions. And the fundamental economics of the business are transactions. And most importantly, to have engaged uh, members on the platform and uh, transactions. So. It's, it's got, quite frankly, it's not a property business, it's got nothing to do with the property business. 
and the wealthy coin is the catalyst that unlocks the entire ecosystem of that marketplace and um Kerry, I could uh, I could go in, into that in a lot more detail if you would like me to. Uh, not now because we've only got five minutes left, but I can certainly go into a lot more detail um, on any of the sessions, including my Ask God Anything sessions. Uh, but it's really to have a, it's really important to have a fundamental understanding of exponential businesses, marketplaces, and how the wealthy coin provides the catalyst. The cryptocurrency provides the catalyst to unlock the whole marketplace where everyone benefits. Um, what does a bonus mean? Well, in simple terms, if you put $1 in, uh, you would get 10 coins. If you're getting a 30% bonus, you would actually get 13 coins uh, if you're getting a 30% bonus. Uh, da -da -da -da. From Johannesburg, how are coins going to be allocated if you pay a specific amount? Um, I, I, it doesn't matter where you live in the world. If you put $1 in, you would get 10 coins if they're 10 cents each. Uh, so one cannot buy on the World Migrate platform. Good question, Mark. Um, I'm, we'll certainly link the two together, but we are um, we we have we are actually building a platform now to enable people to be able to do it. But I agree with you, and um, we should be looking at linking it. Uh, will you be putting Scott, wealthy coin? Just, just you put it out there. That's that's not going to happen for this token sale. The aim of the token sale is to raise money to continue to build out the platform. So the yeah. the wealth migrate platform is not going to be used in order to purchase. Uh, to contribute towards the token sale. Say that again, sorry. The, the question that's been asked is, can I go onto the Wealth Migrate platform and, and, and partake in the token sale? No. It's, it's, the token sale is via wealthy.io and there will be a, a, an online sale platform there in order to contribute. Uh, it won't be through the Wealth Migrate platform. Yeah, yeah, no, no, one hundred percent. So, Ian, uh, will you be putting Wealthy Coin on the ICO drops for more exposure? Yes, uh, we will. Um, the guys from Crowd Mentor are driving that entire process. As soon as the white paper and the electronic uh, platform is is ready, we will be going, and that's where the bounty program comes in. And hopefully, uh, everyone here can assist, and at least you'll get a T-shirt plus Wealthy Coin. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I'll find this video. Uh, pardon. Oh, uh, I just wanted to notice as well as once the white paper is released, we will be going um, or I will be going as well to token calendars um, throughout the crypto world and hosting and getting them to host our ICO to help encourage and bring in even more people. So if you are an experienced crypto person, and you have, know of a token calendar or an ICO location that you would like us to host on, please feel free to let me know and I will definitely do my best to put us on there. Perfect. Um, Zadar's question, doesn't having a high volume of circulating coins have a negative effect on the value of the token? Six million, 600 million versus 20 million uh, for Bitcoin. Um, yes, one could, one could look at it both ways. I'm not sure, Scott Myers, if you want to add to that. But for me personally, um, you know, if you look at Bitcoin, they've, you, know, it, you don't actually buy one Bitcoin anymore. You buy hundreds of multiples of a Bitcoin. So does it really matter uh, the difference? Our most important thing was we wanted to make the barrier to entry as small as possible for people to be able to participate and for all the people that get in early to be able to enjoy the upside. All these coins started at very low values and people have seen phenomenal growth um, because they started on a low base. I don't know, Scott, if you want to add anything to that. Um, I didn't quite get the question. Could you repeat it? Bitcoin has 20 million coins. We're going to have 600 million coins. Surely it's better to have smaller amount of volume. Well, yeah, it's 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 fungible. I mean, no, it's fungible is not the right word, but um, it it doesn't matter. I mean, the fundamental thing is what's the total, you know, market cap uh, equivalent, if you will, you know, the total value of all token available. Uh, so I wouldn't imagine that the that the wealthy coin token is going to be at eleven thousand dollars anytime soon. But if it went from ten cents to a dollar, you'd be in good shape. Um, and so. It, um, it it's kind of it, the the important thing is what's the total amount of the currency that's out there and how much of that do you own and that's that's what kind of forces the supply and demand equation. I, does that answer the question? Yeah, guys, I'm conscious of time. We've got a hard uh, hard stop in one minute. Um, so there's a lot of questions here around which exchanges are we going to be on. 
um, so that we can uh, we can get KYC to ensure we're on it. My request is, you know, jump on the Telegram group, jump on the WhatsApp group, um, get on wealthy.io. So the word wealth and you know with an e.io, and um, you you'll literally be able to um, you know sign up. We'll keep you keep you updated. So all the details are here. Let me just put it up for you, um, and uh, we'll keep you updated. Uh, will it be available on the Southkin exchanges? I don't know. Uh, it depends. We'll keep you updated. Mark says the Statue of Liberty is too small to read on the screen. Uh, fair point. Put it up on the website. Fair point, Mark. We will. Um, uh, uh, bo -bo 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 -bo. Someone said if I beat Jeppy during your school days, I'll buy you $100 worth of wealthy and donate it to Kersney. So someone knows where I come from, which is great. <laughs> uh, someone else is saying the Telegram group doesn't, the Telegram channel link doesn't work. So they put a they put another link in there. Um, so anyway, guys, look, um, if you've got any questions, you've got my uh, details, you've got Kevin's details, reach out to us. Uh, there you've got Kevin's details. And lastly, here are my details. Um, you know, so reach out to me um, if there's something I can help with. I do, I do really value all the questions. We're going to put an entire FAQ together. I think it's really important to conclude that to understand the token economics, to understand the value of this, to understand the difference between Bitcoin and wealthy, the most important thing is, is you need to understand three different things. You need to understand that this is an existing business with an existing team that already knows how to execute with a track record and revenue. Secondly, you need to understand that it's a marketplace business, which is primarily driven by supply and demand. And the thing that unlocks the supply and the demand is engaged is an engaged community. And the third thing is that the wealthy coin is the catalyst that unlocks that engaged community. And that is why the wealthy coin is something where the value will be, you know, will, will really unlock that ecosystem. It will grow because there's finite supply and, and growing demand. We are investing in real estate. So it's not just um, some random thing. It actually, there is investments in, 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 in tangible assets. And the last thing I would say is that by participating in this, we can ultimately go a long way to solving, you know, to, to at least trying to attempt, if not attempting, to solve the greatest challenge on the planet, which is the wealth cap. And so it's with a huge amount of privilege that I thank everyone for all the you know, massive participation. To Kevin, as always, for setting it up and driving it and answering all the questions. Really appreciate it. Scott and Randy, uh, fantastic to have you online and, you know, as experts in the space and, you know, connecting us with the global community. We really appreciate it. And to Nick for driving the community and, and engaging and, and answering all the questions. Let's keep the conversation going. We'll see you on the Telegram group. We'll see you on the social media. Let's get the communication out there. If there's questions we haven't answered, please help us answer them. You know, because the more you help us with the questions you don't understand, the more we can tighten that message, the more we can help you, the more we can help others. Thanks all for me. Thank you very much. Uh, last words from anyone else? Yeah, no, just uh, again, like, uh, you know, the conversation doesn't stop here. I really look forward to talking with all of you in the channel. Please keep these questions coming. They're great. They're dynamic. Uh, and it's, it's part of what's going to make this community great. So just keep at it, guys. Yeah, great. Thanks, everybody. It's been really great. And we look forward to seeing you on the webinar series that's coming up. And yeah, uh, please keep keep asking the questions. It's really nice to see the, 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 the number of people who've come into the group and to continue the engagement. So thanks, everybody. And have a fantastic day, night, sleep, whatever you're going to. Scott, Randy, anything from your side? All set here. Just want to thanks everyone for coming in. Yeah, everything's good. Thank you, everyone. Cool, guys. And Martin uh, Hoffman, I'll give you a shot. Um, you've got my detail as well. Send me an SMS or WhatsApp and we can connect. So everyone online, thank you very much. Look forward to uh, taking this forward. We'll see you online on the 31st of January with David Orban. Uh, by then we'll have a white paper and we look forward to changing the world with you Jeff. spread the word Thanks, everyone good night bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.